alkenes are compounds that contain at least one carbon-carbon double bond, where we know that a carbon-carbon double bond is one in which each carbon present in the bond shares two electrons. Alkenes therefore get the suffix ene and they have the general formula CnH2n. So we would name an alkene by identifying the longest chain containing that double bond, which in this case we can see is four carbons. We know that four carbons gets the prefix but. And now because we know that this is an alkene since it contains a double bond, we would call it butene. But we need to indicate the position of that double bond and we always number so that the double bond or that that functional group has the smallest number possible which means that this would be carbon number one and we would call this but one in. We would for a more complicated molecule follow a very similar pattern where we first identify the longest carbon chain keeping in mind that bends in the chain do not affect the chain length where we can see that the longest chain here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons long, which means that we get the prefix hept. We can see once again that it contains a double bond, this time two double bonds, but therefore gets the suffix in, but we indicate that there are multiple functional groups with the prefix di, tri, or tetra, so this would now be di in. And finally, we must number this, we must indicate the position of those double bonds and we again choose to number from the side that makes those numbers as small as possible. So we would call this hept 1, comma 4, di, saying that there are two in, two double bonds and that would be how we name this alkene. We would in condensed structural formula, we follow exactly the same pattern. This would be CH3, CH2, CH, apologies, CH, followed by CH2. It would be up to the person reading this to see that each of these two carbons is one bond short and therefore see that there is a double bond present there. And the same pattern here where we say that this is CH3, CH, followed by a CH again, we can see that each of those carbons is one bond short, followed by once again a CH, CH, and then CH2, and then CH3. We say that alkenes are unsaturated compounds because they contain a double bond. And once again, it is important when there are multiple double bonds, we would indicate that with di for 2, tri for 3 and tetra for 4.